I'm Louise from Ocean Energy Balance. Now it's a very secluded group here today, but everyone who's here is absolutely meant to be here. A special group, well, come in. I'm a clairvoyant medium. I grew up with spirituality. My mum was also a medium, clairvoyant, and I've inherited that from her also. Her mother also was. Um, so yeah, I really, really welcome you today and I hope that I can get some wonderful, lovely communication through from you or some insight on what spirit is about. There's one thing I would like to say though before we start. I've got some little ones in here today. I've got some little children, which is absolutely beautiful. They're our next generation of spreading um, universal love and kindness and an understanding of the world and our chakras. But children are very open. Their auras are very open. That's their naivety and their belief of everything in the world. So their mums and grand grandparents, whoever's here, before you leave here today and when you leave again, I'd like you to see and get them to put their arms around them and wave a great big bubble so that their energy is protected and they're not going away with any other baggage that doesn't belong to them from here today. Because we've all got spirit energy around us. We are all touching and connecting each other's auras when we are close. That's the same as when you get in an elevator and you don't feel comfortable for that person that's behind you. Or you feel very close and connected to somebody immediately. It's because you've known them in a past life. Alright, Tibetan healing bowl, singing bowl. About 10.30 all the spirit people, I came in here to do a little meditation and all the spirit people arrived and they're all been sitting here waiting for you. There's a lot of um, da, 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 islander energy down that side of the room. There's a lot of elders. I don't know whether they're Maori, Fijian, Aboriginal, but there is a lot of um, beautiful, beautiful earth energy, a very spiritual people. So I don't know, is there anybody who, who has a lot of lost people that have passed over that are of Aboriginal or Islanders of any sort? Yes. Oh, hello. Hello. Ah, there is a lot of spirit people around. My yes. uh, Hello. My husband. Is your husband? He's Samoan. He's Samoan. Beautiful, big people, yeah. very strong, yeah. very, very happy. I'd say there's about a, at 12 people that have come through. Were they wise spiritual people? Um, Worked with energy much. healing? Yes, very much into healing. Mm. Very traditional. Yes. What they used to call witch doctors, but not as in. I'll go with witch doctors, no, I love it. But it was mostly for healing. It was all healing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've been a witch in the past life <laughs> as well. Burn at the stake, all of that stuff. Um, they're here with you. They want you to teach their ways to the little ones, to the children, and keep them always. This beautiful lady here, second row, you have a lady in spirit around you. Is that your mum that's passed? Yeah, she's with you, giving, she is just wrapping you up in beautiful pink rose colours right now. What's her name, Rose? Who's Rose? Do we have a Rose in the room? In spirit. Uh, she's wrapping you up in beautiful red roses, pink roses, crimson roses, and loving you, especially you. Sorry, all the other four, but you're getting a lot of a special attention from your mum. How long ago did she go? 30 years. 30 years. 
Well, she's never leaving you. She's going to be around you in spirit always. You've got a son. Who's the young man in your life? She's looking after a young man about who's about 30 now. No? No? Cool. I want to go to your energy. You are, you have a gorgeous energy about you, really, really old. You've had many, 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 many lives. There's a lady with you in spirit who's quite elderly. She might have been about 90 or 80 when she passed. Would that be not your mum? Grandma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she wear a lot of green? I'm seeing her in a lot of green. Uh, she was quite a lonely lady. Very lonely lady. Did you look after her? No. You, she was very close to you. Yes. Yes, we're very connected. Oh, she's so with you. I know. Does she annoy you? She, <laughs> she does. It's like... Oh, Every time she taps She loves the supermarket. Name. She loves going in the supermarket. <laughs> She loves it. Do you find extra things in your trolley at the end of when you get to the checkout? No. <laughs> yeah, well, she just loves, was she, was she a little bit slightly demented? Dementia, that sounds like a horrible word, doesn't it? Not that I ever was aware of, Okay. but I didn't see her right towards the end. No. So. Uh, there's a man in spirit that would probably be your grandfather. <coughs> But I don't think he's, he's not very close to her now. <laughs> He'd rather leave her alone and let her follow you around. <laughs> He'd rather just read the paper yeah. and be alone. She talked too much or something and he was very quiet. Yes. He's got the little dog with him as well. Mm. He was very cheeky. <laughs> okay. Yeah, lovely man. He was a bit... Yes, yes he had a little wicked we, we sense of humour. Yes, he did. However, she didn't get it, did she? No. No, not at all. No. Straight over the you head. Like you, we were. you were like that, yeah. yeah. Right. Sylvia. Yes, that's her name. Oh. <laughs> She's with me a lot. I do a lot of table tipping. And She's, she was here earlier, because you come in fairly early. She's yes. been sitting here waiting for <laughs> you to burn up. Yeah. Oh, Sylvia. She comes through when we do table tipping and she just goes crazy. She has a good time with us. Agnes. Geez, that's old. Who owns Agnes? Oh, hello. Wow. How, how old was Agnes when she passed? Oh, she's a lovely lady. Was she a little bit voluptuous, let's say? Cuddly, cuddly. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful lady. She's sending you lots and lots and lots of love. You need to get in the garden more. You don't garden enough, you don't go outside, out in the park, you need some more outside time. Do you live in a unit? No. Oh, all right. Do you work in a very confined office? Okay. She really thinks you need to get outdoors more, out in the grass. You got little boy, or he's maybe grown up now. Who's the young man in your life? Uh, about I'm seeing. Oh gosh, 18 to 25. They all look the same, don't they? When they're that age, driving with a car. He's not overly sensible. He's not a bad boy, but he doesn't always make good decisions. Well, it may. Yeah. Okay. Give him a little warning. Be careful in your car. Don't rush into decisions. And don't offer to give people lifts home. Can you place that boy? Well, it might be a friend of yours, son. Mm. I'm getting Liza. Liza, Eliza, Elizabeth. Oh, have you? We're back over to you again. No. <laughs> she's on the other side. She's, she's passed. Yes. She's passed. All right, she's probably up there with Sylvia. She's nothing like Sylvia, though. She's a much quieter lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much quieter lady. Um, 
Uh, I think she suffered a bit of de uh, de 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 um, depression. Did she not marry? She did marry. I'm seeing a very quiet lady, or is this how she ended up before she passed? Yeah. Really, the very. Passed away before the moon. She was sad. Okay. I only knew the, a fraction. A little bit. Yeah. Not great, great. Not great, great, I should say. Wow. Oh. Ship from England, no. UK. No. Somebody back here from the UK. <laughs> I, oh, Alison, out, cool, good. Um, 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 two story country house in, uh, in England, Ireland, Wales, somewhere there. Beautiful part of the country. Sands, stone home. Looks like a castle to me. So it was very old. Uh. Mary, who's Mary here? Who owns a Mary? Mary. Which one played the piano, yours or yours? Pianola. Pianola, that'll do. That's an old word for piano. <laughs> what happened to that pianola? It's still in my uncle's house. Yay. It's Your uncle's pretty old. Oh, keep the pianola. She's quite adamant. You keep that beautiful pianola. It has so many memories. There is so much life that she has put into that beautiful pianola. She loved it. She loved it. It's like getting her necklace or a beautiful piece of her jewelry. The pianola has her energy all over it. It's worth a fortune, but don't you dare sell it. Don't let the grandchildren get it. <laughs> oh, she needs lots of stories told about her. She could have been a famous pianist. Was she? She would have loved to have been. Been in the opera. Wow. Oh, Edward. Where's Edward? Edward's there somewhere in that little package. Yes? Edward. Who's Edward? He's a lovely, happy man. Very happy, jolly man. Oh, he's so tall and his eyes are sparkling. He looks really, really well. Come in, come in, come in. Welcome. This is so much fun. You've got no idea. It's just awesome. Edward, oh, okay, mm. did he have a limp? He did. Was he in the army or something? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> a beautiful man, Alan, there's an Alan as well. Alan, Edward knew Alan. Mm, okay. Oh, who's Ellen? Ellen's past. Come on, somebody out of all of you must have an Ellen. <laughs> yeah, thank you. My father's ex-wife Ellen. All right, do we like her? I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ellen's here. She's enjoying being here and having this. She was quite a quiet lady. She wasn't loud. She was, yeah, we like her. She's a nice lady. She didn't have a huge personality of being outward. But spirit people, when they've passed over, they love gatherings like this because it gives them an opportunity to come back to you, to let you know they're there. All they want is us dull humans to realise there's something over and above this. There is something so much more. And they want to let you know the whole time. When they pass, their sicknesses go. Their ailments go. Their sadness goes. Their judgment goes of who's right and who's wrong and who got the money and who didn't get the money. They don't care about that. They just want you to get on with it and to let all of those things go. 